We are in the midst of what I believe is going to be the most influential century in all of human history. It's going to be revered as the technological age when we're able to put chips in people's brains and help reverse paralysis where we can get trucks and cars and automobiles to drive themselves better than humans can. Where we can transplant someone's heart or their liver into another human being and have them up and running again as if nothing ever happened. And just when I thought that we had peaked as you like, how could we possibly get any better than this? I come to find out that there is a man who has the courage and the willingness to take his Xbox and computer screen into a Walmart, build a toilet paper for it, and play Fortnite. I tell you what, there is no getting better than that. Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. My name is Leon Lush, the Don of the Tomato Mafia, joined here by my consigliere, Nigel Cushington. And if I may just profess to you how much of a treat it is for Nigel and I to have you here locked in with us for just a few short minutes. So I like to browse through YouTube videos and find stuff that's enjoyable to pass the time just like you do. And I stumbled a few days ago across this YouTuber named Mikey Mamps. And let me just tell you, even at 1.1 million subscribers, Mikey Mamps is criminally underrated. I mean, someone who has the gall, the stones, to even think about trying to play Fortnite in a Walmart, in a toilet paper fort nonetheless. I mean, everyone in the world should see this video. <laughs> and only 170,000 people have it. It's an injustice. Now, Mikey Mance, he's no slouch. He's no amateur when it comes to pissing off Walmart workers. I mean, with hits such as kicked out Black Friday shopping at Walmart, trying to get kicked out of Walmart, we broke the ceiling, and my personal favorite 24-hour challenge in Walmart gone wrong, this man, Mikey Mance, has an aptitude for being a cocksucker to retail employees beyond the layperson's comprehension. Oh. Hey, hey, I'm trying to get like all, all right, the... well then, you gotta help me out. Bro, wait, so I can either make a mess and get out, or you... Okay, can you shut the f You guys are clearly dumb. We're telling you we need help to get out, but, you know. What is this? That's not the... This you made us do that. I asked you five times Don't yell at to me. move the toilet paper so I didn't have to make a mess. Go ahead, call the police. What are they gonna do? Arrest me. Oh my god. So that was just the intro in the first 10 seconds of the video, which he is showcasing what he thinks is the best part of the video. That's typically what you do as a YouTuber with your intros, right? You try to grab the viewer's attention, hook them in, reel them in to watch the rest of the video, right? And what Mikey's telling us right here is that I am a gigantic piece of shit. Please like and subscribe and hit that notification bell. Um, there's a worker right there, but basically you can see the backpack on my back. Uh, you can see the title of this video, so you know exactly what's going on, but if you don't understand how to read and you want me to tell you what's going on. A little condescending, I think they're assuming that I don't know how to read. I do. However, I do understand what you're getting at. I mean, anyone willing to subscribe to your channel probably doesn't have much to speak of as far as a brain in their head. We're going in this here Walmart and we are going to make a toilet paper fort. We're going to set up an Xbox and we're going to play some Fortnite. And I'm my brother, as you can see, hey. <laughs> it's my bro, bro. I hate you. Uh. And now uh, we're going to go into Walmart and uh, he's going to get a dub for us. So it's going to be lit. Hey, what's up, guys? This is my son and my lover, Nigel. You're my son, bro. I hate you. Uh. If you're new here, I know this intro is really long. It's usually the same length, but I'm going to pretend like it's not. Um, subscribe, turn on post notifications, and leave a comment afterwards, and I'll shout you out in my next video, like the person who will be on the screen at the end of the video. So, so you're telling me if I subscribe, turn on notifications, and leave a comment, I have a slim chance of having my comment screenshotted and tagged on to the end of one of your 15-minute bullshit videos for just a few seconds? How could anyone resist such temptation? Hey, and yes, and go on down here. Okay. What should I say? You're a fucking dick to retail workers. Okay, we will send that. Fingers crossed. So to give you the cliff notes of the next several minutes, he's basically just talking about how much of a covert operation this is and how his friends are helping him build this toilet paper fort in Walmart and how they have to be real low key because it gets crazy if the Walmart workers get involved and it's just some real SEAL Team 6 level reconnaissance. Riveting shit. Let's plug in. Okay. Oh, Xbox is on. Yes. It's on. All right, hop in the fort behind me, everybody. Everybody, hurry up. Yes, guys. The Xbox has power. The Xbox has power! They're coming, they're coming. Sir. Go. Can you please, uh... No, he's in there right now. I just saw a move. Sir. 
gotta come out of there, bud. I need you to come out. Okay. Brad, can you come out? Oh, man, busted. So we didn't get a chance to play, guys. Unfortunately, but we'll make it up to you. So he didn't even get a chance to play. I mean, the title says playing Fortnite in a Walmart toilet paper fort, but I didn't see a single drop at Tilted Towers. I didn't see a single drop at Tomato Town, which is the preferred place to drop. Everyone should drop at Tomato Town. Well, that's kind of an issue. You want me to make a fucking mess or you want me to get out peacefully and get the fuck out of here? Okay, I, well, I can't really get out when there's a bunch of toilet paper in my way, so I can either make a mess and get out, or you can... Okay, can you shut the fuck up and stop your... Now up until this point, I just figured this was another do dumb shit to get views style of YouTube video from Mikey Manfa. You know, that's an entire genre on YouTube is just doing stupid shit that doesn't make any sense or have any other purpose other than to make a video that somehow always performs really well on YouTube. YouTube is the absolute fucking wonderland when it comes to doing stupid shit and trying to get views. That's, it's just what you do on YouTube to succeed. But things sharply take a turn for the worse. You guys are clearly dumb. We we're telling you we need help to get out, but you know. Well, it's nice to see that being a complete asshole isn't lost on the cameraman as well. I don't know why you're mad at me. You're destroying my store. Uh, we did not destroy yeah, anything. I didn't get want. Out of my store, I didn't. Get your stuff and get out. Okay, well then stop yelling at me. I'm, I'm yelling. We're at gonna you. clean I'm it up. It. We're not being disrespectful. We're gonna clean yes, it up. Yes, What is that? We're, 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 <laughs> I was just trying to film a funny video. I was gonna play Fortnite. Well, this is we're not, not destroying a store. Yes, what is this? That's not destroying. You made us do that. Asked you five times. Don't yell at to me. To move the toilet paper, so I didn't have to make a mess. Go ahead, call the police. What are fine. they gonna do? Arrest me? Now, admittedly, this Walmart employee is coming on a little bit stronger than I think she needs to, but I gotta be honest with the amount of absolute fucking reach terrorizing retail employees to try and get fucking views on YouTube. I don't blame these guys for being a little bit harsh. Like, you're gonna fuck up my store? I'm working minimum wage right now to try and support three kids. And you're in here fucking being a dickhead just to fucking play Fortnite and get some views on YouTube? Like, get, no, get the fuck out of my store. I'd probably be pretty pissed too. It's all relative. Is this supposed to be funny? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, my man hits him where it hurts with the, um, and this is supposed to be funny? Not for you guys, but for me. And millions of other people. <laughs> Not for you, but for me. And millions of other people. Because <laughs> my fucking, because I'm a YouTuber. Because I'm the fucking man. They think it's hilarious when I fucking go into Walmarts and play Fortnite on my Xbox. <laughs> I want to make this very clear. Just because you've had the fortune and the luck to get a bunch of preteens on the internet to tell you they love you in the comments of your videos doesn't give you the right to be an absolute piece of shit towards other people in real life. I'm gonna say that once more. Just because you have conflated all of your social metrics, your likes, your subscribers into one massive fucking ego, it does not give you the right to be a piece of shit towards other people in real life. And that goes for you too, cameraman. I see you. Uh, I'm not a trespasser. Stop recording me. I'm not a trespasser and I'm allowed to quote whatever the hell I want. Look at this dude. I'm not a trespasser. I'm allowed to record whatever the hell I want. Apparently they want to take videos of us, but we're already doing that, so if they want to check it out, Mikey Mass on YouTube, make sure you subscribe to the channel. And this just goes on and on. They continue walking around Walmart, filming themselves as they're being escorted off the property. And it really gets summed up nicely uh, in this bit right here. She said we can't film, so we're gonna continue to do so. And that, my friends, is the attitude that makes YouTubers look like entitled pieces of shit to the rest of the world. Thank you, Mikey Maths, for perpetuating that ideal. I'm gonna relax, keep this a good positive vibe video for you guys, and uh, I might have censored some of the stuff in there because some people might have been saying some uh, offensive stuff. I'm gonna relax and keep this a good positive vibes video for you guys. You want me to make a fucking mess or you want me to get out peacefully and get the fuck out of here? Okay, can you shut the fuck up and stop your you guys are clearly dumb. Go ahead, call the police. What are they going to do? Please. Arrest me? Man, so considerate. Thank you, Mike. I do appreciate that. Listen, I came into this video just wanting to have a goof on this guy who, you know, was just trying to come up with this title so he's going to do this innocuous thing and play Fortnite at Walmart. No big deal, right? No harm, no foul. He's not hurting anybody. But I left angry. I found myself while watching this, once it turned from like, oh, we're like being sneaky and sent them Walmart and they started in this altercation with the retail workers, it just, it's just, a, it's a, it's a fucking, it embodies everything I hate about entitled YouTubers. They think because they have hundreds of thousands of people watching them in the digital world that you can just be a complete piece of shit in the real world with zero consequence. I am an advocate for the idea that you can tell a lot, you can tell a great deal about someone by watching them interact with other people, how they treat other people. All right, well, let's lighten the mood for a second by, yikes, 
dodging a dildo first and then heading down to the comments and reading a couple. Picture this, I'm a bag of dicks, put me to your lips, I am sick. I love you, Mikey. You're awesome as Febreze. Been subbed on notifications or on like always. <laughs> fucking kill. Please keep doing these types of videos. I love watching them. Also, the Walmart workers remind me of when you used to get in trouble in Walmart back in NJ. <laughs> Laughing till I'm crying emoji. So it would appear that, you know, this this whole Walmart shtick that Mikey does and being a piece of shit towards retail workers is, I guess it's a series that he does. I mean, I did show you earlier, he's got a bunch of Walmart videos. So he's, he's a weathered asshole. He's a weathered a veteran entitled fucking asshole. It's this is great. Funny as Febreze dog. Fire emoji laughing till I'm crying emoji. I want to see you actually do it. <laughs> You're telling me, Patrick Miner. Jesus Christ, if only he had a couple more minutes, we could have seen him actually play a match of Fortnite in a fucking toilet paper fort in a Walmart. How fucking lit would that be? Oh man, that, um, that would be lit. That's probably the hardest I've laughed at one of your videos, <laughs> laughing till I'm crying times two. I literally have no hope for the future of my own child. If this is the world I'm going to be bringing him up in, where videos like this warrant laughing until I'm crying emojis. I have fucking, I'm, I'm keeping that motherfucker in a bubble. He's not leaving my house. Walmart worker. Hey, sir, you can't film. Mikey. It's all right, thank you. She said we can't film, so we're going to continue to do so. Ugh, read more. Lettuce, mayonnaise, fries, and lots of onions. Oh, for fucks. And this last comment really sums this video up quite nicely, I think. And it says this. You're a fucking dick to retail workers. Oh, that was, oh, that was me that wrote that just a few minutes ago. That's right. <laughs> All right, guys, that's going to do it. Thank you so much for watching and joining me for a few short minutes. I always appreciate your time. If you could do me a small favor before leaving and just fill up a Ziploc bag full of empty printer ink cartridges and microwave that on high for two and a half minutes and then take a baseball bat and smash your parents' mailbox into the ground and then hip thrust that motherfucking like button for me. I would greatly appreciate it. I'll see you soon. Be sure to subscribe. Turn that notification bell on if you like. Follow me on Twitch, Instagram, the whole nine motherfucking yards. Okay, follow me everywhere. Just follow follow me while I'm sleeping. Fucking follow me. And I'll <laughs> and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye. <laughs>